Today, India is one of the leading countries in protected cultivation of vegetable crops and cut flowers spread across the country in more than 25 states. Protected cultivation is one of the highly remunerative enterprises for the farmers since it gives higher yield, better quality produce and higher net income. The ICAR, Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, Bengaluru, being the premier research institute in the field of horticulture in India, has developed a large number of varieties and technologies in different horticultural crops. ICAR IIHR has developed a holistic and integrated pest management package in protected cultivation of vegetable crops, refined and spread this technology among larger number of farmers across the country. Additionally, supporting programs of the Department of Horticulture and Agriculture is also helping farmers to extensively adopt protected cultivation. Karnataka is one of the leading states in protected cultivation since the beginning of 2000. Currently, the state has more than 1,500 acres under protected cultivation with multiple crops spread across 20 districts of the state. Many vegetable crops are being cultivated in poly house such as capsicum, tomato, European or English cucumber, broccoli, lettuce, French beans etc. by the farmers. Among these crops, capsicum, tomato and European cucumber are cultivated in more than 75% of the area under protected cultivation of vegetables in the country. Farmers are reaping multiple benefits from the polyhouse cultivation of vegetable crops. However, they are still facing difficulties in the management of pests and diseases. Among these, thrips, mites, powdery mildew, downy mildew, viruses, nematodes and bacterial leaf spots are the major pests and diseases. For effective management of these problems, Integrated Pest and Disease Management, generally referred as IPM, is a very good holistic strategy that the farmers can adopt to manage pests and diseases effectively, economically and safely in polyhouses. Indiscriminate use of pesticides by many polyhouse farmers results in the development of resistance by pests and diseases to many of the insecticide and fungicides. It will also lead to pesticide residue problem in the final produce, which can be avoided by adopting IPM technology. IPM package consists of good agricultural practices like application of botanicals, biopesticides and biocontrol agents such as parasites and predators, use of vegetable grafted plants with rootstocks resistant to soil-borne diseases, nematodes, bacterial wilt and Phytophthora in capsicum and tomato, as well as fusarium wilt in English cucumber. This could be supplemented with the application of chemical pesticides to control pests and diseases if inevitable. In protected cultivation of vegetable crops, one of the important components is integrated pest management. Integrated pest management or IPM is a holistic strategy which starts from field preparation sowing of seeds or planting of seedlings and continues till the final harvesting of crop. Integrated pest management is one of the essential and critical components of integrated crop management in the protected cultivation of vegetables. The integrated crop management aspects consists of use of organic as well as inorganic source of nutrients. So we should apply copious amount of farmyard manure or any other kind of compost, vermicompost, neem cake, fertilizers, fertigations, biofertilizers as a source of nutrients so that the crop will get the good stability and resistance to face the pest and disease and eventually reduction in the use of harmful pesticides. The judicious water management is very important to manage the soil borne diseases. Soil fertility also plays a critical role. Soil fertility needs to be maintained in polyhouse through integrated nutrient management, including crop rotation with leguminous green manuring crops like sun hemp and mucuna purians 
and other crops, mucuna crop is proven to be having higher nematicidal properties which is being demonstrated intensively in many farmers' fields. Marigold is also a viable option as a rotation crop in polyhouses for reducing nematode inoculum in the soil. Grafting is another technology which can be used for managing the soil-borne diseases which is now a developing enterprise. All these things will help in enriching the soil and also fight against the soil borne pathogen for the main crops in polyhouse like tomato, English cucumber and capsicums. Enrichment of neem cake, vermicompost and FYM is done with biopesticides and bionematicides such as Trichoderma harzianum, Pseudomonas fluorescens, Pacillomyces lilacinus and Paconia chlamydosporia. The enriched manure applied on the bed or soil adds beneficial microbial population to the soil and enhances the soil resilience against the attack of soil-borne nematodes and diseases. Plant parasitic nematodes are causing serious problems under the protected cultivation. The symptoms of these nematodes inside the polyhouses can be diagnosed by uh, the stunted growth in patches, the yellowing of the leaves, typical root knot galls, poor growth. This will ultimately lead to serious yield losses from 60 to 70 percent inside the polyhouses. Hence, ICR IAHR has developed integrated nematode management packages for management of these nematodes in an eco-friendly manner in vegetables grown under the polyhouse conditions. Integrated nematode management packages involves a clean cultivation of both the soil as well as the crop. First, the soil fertility has to be enhanced by growing leguminous crops like mucuna and nematode non-host crops like marigold. Both this mucuna and marigold are proven to have high nematicidal properties in their root exudates and so this will reduce the nematode inoculum before growing the main crops like tomato or cucumber inside the polyhouses. When biopesticides are applied directly to the soil or through enrichment of FYM, neem cake or other organic manures, they induce the internal production of plant growth promoting substances and provides systemic resistance in crops against pathogens. The biopesticides are Trichoderma harzianum, Pseudomonas fluorescens, Bacillus subtilis, and bionematicides, especially Poconia chlamydosporia or Pacillomyces lilacinus. These biopesticides have to be enriched in farmyard manure or neem cake for a period of two to three weeks under shade. These enriched biopesticides have to be applied to the topsoil in the beds. And in the standing crop also, these biopesticides enriched neem cake can be applied as such in the root zone or it can be mixed with water and the suspension can be drenched in the soil around the root zone. Even the suspension can be prepared with Jeevamrita or Panchagavya and it has to be regularly applied to the crop throughout the crop duration. IIHR Samusthiyavaru, Namagi Trichoderma, Soda Manasu, Bevan Indi, Matta Vermi Compost, Yvela Kottu, Adhan Biddga Akki Maadhi Dhirindha, Matta Avur Marak Darshindhali Sasi Naati Maadhi Dhagnindha, Avur Yeli Thara Na Palaniya Maadhi Dhikke, and Nyamtoad Anna Roga Anna Anna Namagi Idhi Illa, Namagi Iga Gidugilu Anna Aarogya Karavag Idhe, Ilvai Anna Jasi Bartha Idhe. Bhoomi Ige Yen Beko, Trichoderma, Soda Manasu, Bevan Indi, Erevula Gabra, Yuvun Nella, कल्चर रीति मारे गिगड़क कोटे दरिंदा निमित्तोड़ो नम्बे तुम्बा कंट्रोल बंदी दे। Raise the seedlings in pro trays with arka fermented coco peat as medium for seedlings, which is enriched with arka microbial consortium or AMC. Arka microbial consortium शेर से coco peat तैयार मर दरिंदा मुल्क के प्रमाण जास्ती रहते हैं। तम्मा मर दल बिल्वण के आगे रहते हैं। अंगाए की नर्सरी वर्गों सह बीज नष्टा आ गला। Sesiikalu sahaja itu tumbuh naik kademe. Anggai itu utpada naik macca, ritrik kademe agatya, laba ikca agatya. The plant growth promoting beneficial microbes in AMC helps to mobilize nutrients and provides better immunity to the plants and helps in better root growth and development. Before planting of seedlings, cover the soil with 40 micron plastic mulching sheet, which helps to prevent weed growth, to conserve soil moisture and to prevent loss of nitrogenous nutrients. Plant the good quality, healthy, 
and vigorous seedlings on raised beds of one feet height. Drench the seedlings with one fungicide like captan or copper oxychloride at 2 grams per liter to prevent the mortality of seedlings which occurs due to damping off of seedlings. Within 3 to 4 days after planting, spray the plants with 1.5 milliliter per liter of Vidi Green Path to manage mites and trips on the seedlings and drench them with Vicky Roots solution at 1.5 gram per liter to rejuvenate the soil with beneficial microorganisms and to stimulate crop growth as well as the root system for better nutrient uptake, root development and disease tolerance. Many pests and diseases start infecting the crop immediately after planting. In order to prevent the multiplication of these pests and diseases, spraying of safe and essential insecticides and fungicides should be undertaken at an early stage. Trips and mites are the common major pests in all three crops. Powdery mildew in capsicum and tomato, downy mildew in cucumber are the major diseases which damages the polyhouse crop up to 60%. South American tomato moth, which is also called tuta absoluta, and powdery mildew are the important pests and diseases of tomato crop in protected cultivation. IHR has uh, some uh, botanical formulations like uh, neem soap, pongamia soap. Uh, they have been used from the starting stage of the crop and uh, uh, the major purpose of uh, recommending these uh, uh, botanicals is to avoid any residues in the end product uh, that, uh, that is the harvested crop and also for minimizing the uh, development of insecticide resistance which is a common thing when you are using synthetic chemicals. We are also using some of the bio agents uh, uh, like anthocorid uh, bugs for the management of thrips as well as predatory mites for the management of mites in capsicum. Uh, all these in integrated fas uh, fashion when you are using them, we are able to control uh, different uh, pests on uh, capsicum crop. Uh, synthetic chemicals are not only resulting in residues, it also uh, results in the problem of uh, resistance in due course if you are using the uh, same chemical repeatedly. Along with this, uh, IHR has uh, come out with neem seed pellets formulation. By using only this uh, neem seed pellets, we can grow the crop uh, without use of any synthetic pesticides. When you are uh, using this uh, neem seed pellets at the rate of 30 grams per liter, they have to be applied at an interval of uh, 7 days, which will result in the minimum incidence of pests like DBM and uh, aphids. Neem soap is uh, one of the best uh, uh, alternate uh, for the management of this diamond back moth and cabbage. And also it results in the residue free produce. Integrated disease management schedule comprises of different components. The very first component is seed treatment or bio priming with bio agents. This bio primed seed should be sown or raised in nursery with insect proof nylon net under protected structure. While applying FOM or neem cake or pongamia cake, it should be enriched with bio agents like trichoderma, pseudomonas and pesilomyces. After transplanting healthy seedling, protective drenching with fungicide has to be followed. Under protected cultivation, sanitary measures like placing food mat impregnated with disinfected at the entrance of the polyhouse, then removal and burning of infected plant material, infected leaves and fruits so as to prevent spread of diseases. So when disease appears in polyhouse, we need to give protective and systemic fungicide spray. If farmers follow this integrated disease management schedule, they can harvest good produce of high quality and which is also residue free. Within one month after planting, releasing of biocontrol agents developed by ICAR, NBAIR is undertaken to suppress the multiplication of trips and mites and to reduce spraying of chemical pesticides. Here we have used Blaptocetus palisins which is an anthocorid bug 
as a component of IPM to manage thrips pest. When we release uh, Blaptocytus palescens, it immediately searches and whenever it finds thrips, it feeds on that and kill them. And uh, here we have recommended uh, 20 adults per meter square. To get better results, uh, releases has to be made twice in a week. Total 4 to 6 releases are required to get better results. We have observed after using this predator, thrips population has been reduced and uh, number of sprays as well as the cost of production has reduced drastically. This is eco-friendly approach and it can be used as one of the component of IPM to manage thrips in the polyhouse crops. Here we are conducting the IPM in the capsicum, for, especially for the management of uh, thrips and uh, this powdery mildew and downy mildew diseases. So I am using here the Bacillus albus strain, produce a lot of uh, uh, secondary metabolites, lipopeptide, phospholipase, and some other toxic metabolites which is effective for the management of thrips. This strain also produce some plant growth hormones. We are also using the Trichoderma hasperlum, which NBAR, TATP strain. And this trichoderma very effective potential antagonistic activity, especially for the downy mildew and powdery mildew management. It also produces some chitinase and uh, gluconase and some other enzymes for the uh, suppression of the pathogen activity. The major advantage is uh, the cost of production is very less. 1 kg is uh, less than 200 rupees and environmentally it's very very safe chemical residue was very well re reduced. So these are all some advantage using this biopesticide in the IPM practices. After the crops are grown, that is after three weeks to one month of planting, spray the crops with botanical pesticides of ICAR, IIHR like Arca Neem Soap and Arca Pongamia Soap as prophylactic measures and to prevent the multiplication of pests in the polyhouse. Some of the useful practices that the farmers are using as part of the IPM package includes drenching of Jeeva Mrutha with biopesticides like Trichoderma, Pseudomonas, Poconia and AMC, spraying of Panchagavya, drenching of vermi wash solution, seaweed extracts like Sagarika to build the immunity in plants against viruses and regular applications of micronutrients like Arka Vegetable Special to maintain continuous flowering and to improve the quality of fruits in capsicum, tomato and European cucumber. Practices like high pressure water spray is also a very useful one to dislodge the trips and spraying of botanical oils like neem and pongamia oils will reduce the population of whitefly, trips and mites in the polyhouse. Another important objective of the IPM package is to ensure the safety of plants, groundwater, soil, environment, animals and humans, particularly farmers, labourers and consumers. To ensure safety, the safety kit includes face shield, goggles, gloves, PPE suits, well promoted among the polyhouse farmers to avoid harmful effects of chemicals and other operations taken up in the protected environment. Under the NHM project, the IPM package was demonstrated for the past two years in polyhouses of 32 farmers in 16 selected districts of Karnataka state. The farmers were equipped with the required knowledge and skill of IPM package through many trainings and other capacity building programs including individual advisory services through phone calls on-farm diagnosis and advisory, WhatsApp calls, video capsules, audio messages and other specific literature on crop production and technology. Under the aegis of Karnataka State Horticulture Mission, we have taken up the demonstration of integrated pest management in tomato, English cucumber and capsicum. In this IPM package, all the good agriculture practices and the integrated approach in management of the pests and diseases have been covered starting from selection of soil, selection of the land, selection of good varieties particularly which are resistant to the pests and diseases 
and effective use of physical, cultural, mechanical, chemical and all the other biocontrol products and agents. All these four or five practices are integrated to see that the pest and disease are effectively managed with the prophylactic management. By adopting the IPM packages, the farmers have successfully cultivated vegetable crops which resulted in increased application of botanicals, biopesticides and biocontrol agents by more than 60% of farmers and reduced the use of chemical pesticides by 35 to 40 percent. Demonstration of the IPM package also resulted in increased quality produce reflected in better grades, good shelf life and free from pesticide residue in all three demonstrated crops such as capsicum, tomato and cucumber. Additionally, our technological interventions for nematode management have reduced nematode population ranging from 28 to 86 percent and increased net income of polyhouse vegetable farmers by more than 40 to 55 percent. In the first place, we have English cucumber. We have to use the cucumber in the first place. We have to use the cucumber in the first place. We have to use the cucumber in the first place. We have to use the cucumber in the first place. We have to use the cucumber in the first place. We have to use the cucumber in the first place. We have to use the cucumber in the first place. ஐயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாயாய
ಪಂಚಗವ್ಯ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂತೀವಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಏನೈತೆ ಟ್ರೈಕಡರ್ಮಾ ಸೋಡಮೋನಸ್ ಪೆಸಿಲೋಮೈಸಿಸ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂತೀವಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಜೀವಾಮೃತಕ್ಕೂ ಕೂಡ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ನ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಒಂದು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಬೆ ನೀಮ್ ಸೋಪು ಮತ್ತು ಪೊಂಗಾಮಿಯ ಸೋಪ್ನ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂತ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟು ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನಮಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಂಡಿಚರ್ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಬಂದೈತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಬೆಳೆದ ಲೈಫು ಕೂಡ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಯಿತು ಮತ್ತು ಇಳುವರಿನೂ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗೈತೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಆದಾಯನೂ ಕೂಡ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಎರಡು ವರ್ಷ ಇತ್ತೀಚೆಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಭಾರತೀಯ ತೋಟಗಾರಿಕಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯವರು ಒಂದು ಐ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಪದ್ಧತಿಯನ್ನು ಅಳವಡಿಸ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಗಿಡ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಜೀವ ಜೀವಾಮೃತ ಕೊಡ್ತೀರಿ ಡ್ರಂಚಿಂಗು ಎ ಎ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಕೊಡ್ತೀರಿ ತಿರ್ಗಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಐ ಎಚ್ ಆರ್ದೆ ಬೇವಿನ ಸೋಪ್ ಇದೆ ಆ ಸೋಪ್ನ ಸ್ಪ್ರೇ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಪಂಬೇವಿಯ ಸೋಪು ನೀಮ್ ಸೋಪು ಇವನ್ನ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರಾಗಿ ಹದಿನೈದು ದಿವಸಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಸತಿ ಗಿಡ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ನೆನೆ ಹಂಗೆ ಹೊಡೆದಾಗ ಟ್ರಿಪ್ಸು ಮಟ್ಟೆ ಉಳಿಯೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಗಿಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಹದಿನೈದು ದಿವಸ ಗ್ಯಾಪಲ್ಲಿ ಔಷಧಿ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟು ಖರ್ಚು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೂವ ಪಿಂದೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೇ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಮತ್ತು ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಫ್ರೂಟು ಮತ್ತು ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಫ್ಲವರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ತೋಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರಿಪ್ಸು ಹಾವಳಿ ಇತ್ತು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪರತಂತ್ರ ಜೀವಿಯನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಟ್ರಿಪ್ಸ್ ತಿನ್ನೋ ಅಂಥ ಒಂದು ಜೀವಿಯನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಮಗೆ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಹೋದ ವರ್ಷ ನಮಗೆ ಈಗ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಎಕರೆ ಐದು ಗುಂಟೆ ಇದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಅರವತ್ತು ಟನ್ನು ಕಲರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸಿಕಮ್ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಎಂಟು ಟನ್ನು ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸಿಕಮ್ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಸಮಗ್ರ ಪೀಡೆ ನಿರ್ವಹಣೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಅಳವಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಾಗಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ನೈಂಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟು ನಮಗೆ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಡೇ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಇದುವರೆಗೂ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಇಳುವರಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲರ ತೋಟಕ್ಕಿಂತನೂ ಹತ್ತು ಟನ್ನು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ತೆಗೆದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಲಕ್ಷ ಐದು ಲಕ್ಷ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಬೋನಸ್ ಬಂದಂಗೆ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ to celebrate the success of the demonstrations many field days were organized in the farmers fields with the participation of a large number of farmers officers of horticulture department members of fpos private companies along with the scientists of icar institutes which facilitated the spread of the ipm technology among polyhouse vegetable growers ipm technology is a very useful package for pony house farmers which needs to be adopted by all the farmers across the country if the ipm package is integrated with the development programs of horticulture and agriculture departments it will largely benefit the farmers across the length and breadth of the country